hey guys welcome back to my channel and uh, i'm mangesh in this video we are uh, we'll still continue our practical of tar command uh, in previous video we have learned how to create an archival with the help of c option you can create it with the help of t option you can display the files from the archival r used to append the archival means you can add some more files into the existing archival file then x option you can use to extract and uh, if you want to extract specific file then you need to give the specific file name like this then that particular specific file will get extracted from your archival we learn how to delete the entire archival file like uh, uh, let me go to the terminal ls minus lrt okay uh, with the help of rm hyphen rf you can put output dot tar so this entire file will get, get deleted but uh, the problem is uh, i don't want to delete the entire archival tar pvf it will display the file from that archival i want to delete some particular files like uh, i want to delete this backup.txt so if you want to delete backup.txt only one file from this archival then this is what the syntax you need to use tar uh, then double dash delete uh, this is our actual file this is what our actual file archival file from that archival files i want to delete this backup.txt so what i'm going to do is uh, I will add backup.txt here. So learn this syntax. Star your command uh, double dash delete. You are going to perform delete, delete action on which file? Uh, file is output.tar. Under output.tar, this is a file is present. Please delete it. So let me hit enter. And yes, this file is deleted. You can see tar hyphen pvf output.tar. You cannot see backup.txt previously present, but the file is not present because you have deleted this file okay so i want to delete all text files from this uh, archival so tar uh, double dash delete hyphen f output dot tar your file existing uh, archival file from this archival file i want to delete all those text files so this is executed successfully let me check tar uh, these are the error we have received because it uh, backup one dot txt is already deleted, and uh, this is another one. We will see our, our operation is performed or not. So if you see the output of t display, all text files are already removed from your archival. Now again, I want to append all text files back to this archival. So I will use tar r option. I will use to uh, append. So into the existing file, I want to add all those text files so yes tar tvf output dot tar look at your files are already added so in this way you can create an archival in unix so um, uh, if you have some files present under under your uh, rms directory let me see do we have any files in that rms directory there are some uh, there are many files that are available in that rms directory i guess uh, all these files okay uh i actually i already extracted these files in previous video you have seen i extracted a output dot tar into this directory so same files are available here but uh, let me see do we have anything in that myang directory so yes i'm looking for the new files actually i want to add all those these files into the uh, tar file uh, currently i'm in this directory so tar command uh, I am executing the Mangesh directory cvf uh, new dot uh, new tar this is what my new file I am going to create and I want to zip all those files which is available under uh, myang directory so Mangesh myang so whatever files are there all files will get added and directory is also getting added because tar common used to archive your directory as well so Pravin directory uh, along with that those files are already archive into the this file new data tar pvf you can see this is a way you can create an archival and uh, to extract x will come in the picture and these are the options are very important uh, for delete this is the right syntax which i already use in the practical and uh, all these options are very important in the tar command uh, people for people is not getting what is archival and all so let me show you in the windows operating system what is the archival means like uh, uh, let me go to download folders here i have some more files 
and uh, if, if I want to add these files into archival what I'm going to do is I will create one archival first so if I want to add this P folder into archival then send to option is available here compress so I added that P that this P file is my archival actually in that P files if I want to append so what I'm going to do is I will just uh, select these things and I will drag into that archival so all files are already available into this archival if you want to add it so in windows it is very easy but unix is command based operating system so if you want to add remove all those things you need to do with the help of command also you can perform in zip also you can do the same thing so let me show you some zip commands practical because in zip also uh, we can uh, do the append like oh i have mentioned ls minus lrt in the capital letter my cache log is on okay now um, in zip i want to zip all those text files so it is very easy command zip uh, mangesh dot zip this is what my output file name and i want to add all text files from the current directory if i want another directory then i need to give the entire path okay so this is what i have added the difference between tar and zip is will what in zip you will compress your size also in tar that size will not get compressed then uh, you can hit gzip command again on your output dot tar to compress that entire file size so look at the output that you have compressed your tar file and uh, zip uh, will compress the size also and it will create an archival as well like that so in this way it will work in zip file also you can add some more uh, files like append is also possible over here so how to append the files with the help of zip command that i'm going to show you uh, here also you can use hyphen r option like um, uh, let me show you uh, man zip command you can see the zip command page over here mm, and uh, they will show you this hyphen r option this mostly used to add some more files into your existing zip file okay so i want to add all dot sh files into mongeish.zip and that is possible that is a possible with the help of hyphen r option like this zip hyphen r my existing file is this and i want to add all star dot sh those files so see you have added all those files again i don't know how to display the files from my existing zip so what i'm gonna do is uh, let me take the actual syntax from the chrome i'll go to the google okay because in tar i know the p option will work here to display the files from the archival but zip command display files from existing zip so what syntax they are giving let me check it and i need to use that one mm. zip they have given how to use zip command but display list of files from linux so uh, zcat i'll show you the practical of zcat also but uh, regular zip command list of the list files let me see so they have given tar command option but uh, zip command you can directly unzip it zip and unzip zip info let me see zip info is working here or not uh, yeah let me hide this zip info and mongeish.zip so you can see so this is what the command that was actually i was looking so zip info you will show you uh, you'll get it how many files are there in your existing zip file like that and similar way the way you have deleted some files from your existing zip so that is also possible but right syntax you can see uh, uh, from here actually because i, I have never deleted uh, any uh, files from the zip i know how to delete from the archival but uh, delete files from existing zip file in linux linux in xm hyphen d option they have given see so let me try with hyphen d option 
zip okay and my file name is uh, the my file name is mongoose.zip and i want to delete all those text files yes i find the option is working fine so what you have learned over here through zip also you can create an archival and tar command also is used to create an archival basic difference tar command will not compress the file zip command will compress the file in zip also uh, you can create zip uh, zip info command you can use to check the list of the files present in zip file okay and zip hyphen d option you can use to particular files delete particular files from your existing zip existing zip so this is what you have learned and if you want to unzip files unzip if your file name is abc.zip so all files will unzip with the help of this syntax and if you want to zip any particular files like abc.zip one dot txt so this particular file will get unzipped from your zip so in this way you can do the practice of zip command also and the same way you can do the practice of tar command also it's very important command the production you must know how to create an archival you must be aware of what is the difference between zip and uh, tar command and that we have seen in this practical so try similar practice on your uh, laptop and uh, let me go to our uh, yes so here we have some basic commands head tail tail hyphen f cut uh, this command i will show you one by one so it's very important command head command it will show you first 10 lines of the files so if you'll see i have one file here that file name is a backup 2.txt if i want to see for first 10 lines so by default first 10 lines will get printed but if i want to see how many uh, see let me see first 20 lines so i will add here 20 and enter so this is what the first 20 lines so you can change the number you will get the up to 20 up to 30 lines first 20 lines first 30 lines of the files with the help of head command tail command is opposite it will show you last 10 lines of the file so backup 2.txt so these are the last 10 lines okay and if you want uh, 20 so look at this last 20 lines of the files so head and tail command practice we have done here there are some syntaxes and this is very important one tail hyphen f command so what happened in the production there are multiple processes are running and side by side their logs are also updating in the another directory if your log files is updating or not to check that this command will come in the picture tail hyphen f so i'll show you let me create a um, two terminal so tail uh, okay, uh, ls minus lrt. I have one file here. File name is um, calendar. So add calendar dot txt. So this is what my process is started to append that calendar file. So I'm adding some files here. Okay, and uh, in another terminal, someone will go and check this file is updating or not. So what that person will do? tail calendar.txt so by default last uh, lines he can see but if he'll enter tail hyphen f and he'll see now oh, nothing uh, nothing updating because i have not done anything over here so let me add some more lines here okay let me go here and click uh, it is updating or not if i if I'll, I'll hit enter automatically you can see that log file is updating so tail hyphen f command will help you your log file is updating or not or any file is updating or not so once i did control d then obviously this will not get updated because that process is already completed and uh, here i am hitting enter but it is not updating like this. so tail hyphen f command will show you your file is updating or not in production you need to monitor some log files that updating or not with the help of tail hyphen if you can easily identify whether it is updating or not so very important command you can see then uh, cut command mostly used in the programming to cut your file 
uh, character wise and uh, if you are if you want output in that way so uh, let me show you simple syntax about the cut uh, ls minus lrt you can see uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if i want this 10 character after uh, ls minus lrt i want only first column so i will use pipe pipe options you must you are aware how to use it output of first command gives input to the second one c1 dash 10 so it means what it will show you first 10 it is cutting first 10 character from the file so that column character wise cut you have done and uh, if you have existing file like cat calendar.txt so same way you can do on cut uh, hyphen c okay one dash 10 and from calendar.txt so it will cut those in this way you can cut it so there are few more options are available cut d hyphen used to delimiter wise cut so that practice also you can perform this is not very important command because we usually not use it but if you are doing any kind of shell scripting or mostly Perl scripting uh, if you have any kind of requirement to cut the field that time cut command will come in the picture op command will come in the picture and uh, you can see the practicals of op and cut on youtube as well so one more important topic i need to cover in the next video which is a process monitoring a process killing a process how to check the pids what is a pid what is a ppid that thing i will cover in the next video thanks for watching this video and do the practice all the best